Right. On. Uh, so uh, we're going to take on uh, uh, the guys and gals from Nash yes, FM. Yes, we are. We are so excited. Just a little recap for you. I hope In you don't case... let me down. Huh. I don't think I will let you down on account of I've won every previous challenge this week. Yeah, well, the, the yesterday's is under appeal. Uh, no. Okay. Well, I hope it goes as I'm, well as Louisville's appeal for I, you. I've looked at the tape, and the referee took like eight seconds to reload my forehead with a cookie. Okay. In case you have no idea what Lee's talking about and you missed yesterday's show, we did the Oreo challenge yesterday as part of our Olympic showdown. We saved money and used generic Oreos. We did. I think they were called Twist and Twist Shout. And shout. Twist the and Twist shout. and Shout cookies. Anyway, it's where you put the Oreo on your forehead and you have to get it in your mouth without using your hands. Yeah, I spanked him at it. And Lee and lost. He wa and Lee lost. And he wants to say <laughs> that, I, that Jesse, our referee, I, I, didn't reload him fast true. enough. That's true. Want to know what else is true? What else? Lee confessed something to me a little bit after I won. It wasn't a confession. Well, okay, you're right. You didn't come forth with it. I had to pry it out of you. you you're right. Thank the, you for pointing you that out. You saw the cookie dust on my hand. I did. Our show, <laughs> our competition was about 10 or 15 minutes into our show yesterday. At the top of the show, I looked at Lee, and he had some, like, black specks right here. And I thought, is that makeup? Well, if it is, I certainly don't want to say anything and embarrass him if he's uh, wearing makeup suddenly. Mm -hmm. Oh, then I realized once we played the game, I had black stuff on my forehead. This cheater practiced before the show That's yesterday. Not cheating. Who doesn't practice? Everybody practices. Not in these silly one minute challenges. That's what makes it fun. And if you were going to practice, you should have told me so I could have practiced. Yet, as it turns out, I didn't need it. I did it on it. my own time. I didn't need the practice. No, you, you sure don't. I also won our competition the day before as well. So right now the standings are two mm. to zero. So we got every time she wins, we got to hit. But today, if we win, we're playing my old Kentucky home. We are. Okay, that's well, cool. Well, because Nash is sort of short for Nashville, isn't it? Let them beat Tennessee. Okay. Why don't we be Kentucky today? Yeah, so best You're wearing blue anyway. That's right. But best of luck to them. But, yeah, I hope that we win, and we'll see. We have a really fun game that we're going to play with them today. So, right. And uh, it's Margarita Day. And, yes, it is International, international Margarita International day. Margarita Day. So we're going to be, yeah, making up some delicious margaritas today with All one right. of our favorite local bartenders. So we're excited about that. It's going to be good. You ready for some Hot Topics? Let's do it. Roll it. Hot Topics. Okay, we want to start with some viral video from our sister station up in Cincinnati. This has been going all around the internet today. A man swimming in floodwaters <laughs> mm. on the Cincinnati Riverfront. Look at him, getting some laps in. His name is Nick Montag. He posted the video to his Twitter page. Since it was posted, it's been viewed more than 11,000 times. Yeah, this is not in the river. This is on the riverfront where right. the waters have risen. Look at that current carrying Normally him. Normally you can stand by that railing and have a cocktail and look out over the river there. And yes. Enjoy the enjoy Kentucky or Ohio, whichever side you're on. I see the appeal of this when I was. Oh, on I can too. Yeah. I, no, nothing more fun than getting a brain eating amoeba. I know that's the thing. You're taking your chances. It's exciting. Uh -huh. No, that's the thing. It's like, oh yeah, it'd be fun to swim in a place that normally is, you know, dry ground. Right. But then when you think about, you really do hear stories of people getting sometimes deadly infections mm -hmm. from swimming in water that backwater. Yeah. yeah. Nasty. Nick. A uh, North careful. Korean cheerleader was caught on camera accidentally clapping for American figure skaters at the Winter Olympics. See, this happened during the Paris, uh, Paris short program when the American skater took the ice. The girl sat stone-faced, except for this one. You can see right here. Her friend eventually oh. jabbed her to let her know, you're clapping for the wrong team. And I'm sure in their view, the wrongest team. <laughs> right. And in all seriousness, I hope it doesn't get her killed. Uh, seriously, that's what uh, I was thinking. I, that, that should be a joke I just made. But, but it's not. not with that regime. It's not a joke. So God bless her. Seriously. Hopefully nobody catches that. Yeah, it was a mistake. She did not mean to we'll do take it. Take her entire family out. Yes, we assume she hates us. Weapon, anti-aircraft gun. Yeah. It's an awful place. That's the thing. That but place. let's do some more comparisons with America, shall we? All you critics out there. Drives me nuts. I see that stuff on the... Yeah. Look yeah. Out. Rage Brigade. Uh, what do you mean? What do you say? What do you... Well, there's no <laughs> difference between <laughs> Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump. Oh, you know, geez. that nonsense. Oh, Come on. Yeah. That's not true. That is not true. We are very lucky to live in the country that we live in. Let's not forget Unbelievably that. Unbelievably hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed, blessed to the max. Thank yeah. you. Okay, NBC, of course, is carrying the Olympics live every single day from Pyeongchang, South Korea. Look at this, though. They've been having some fun with their Olympic coverage. That's not one of our Team USA members. That is 
Michael Scott from The Office, NBC, created this and posted it themselves. Apparently, he is an avid bobsledder. As right. you know, Michael Scott is a character from the former hit NBC show The Office, played by Steve Carell. And, you know, they're bringing The Office back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's remember? Right. Yeah, but so. not Carell. Yeah, but he's not going to be on the show. Yeah, so I. Listen to him. This is one of his, the best lines from the show. No, 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 no. This is the best part. No. There's the audio right there. A uh, woman in England has been arrested for leaving what paramedics called a vile note on their ambulance. Police say the woman verbally abused the EMS workers. They were responding to a call about a person with breathing problems. When they returned to the ambulance, they found the note. It says, if this van is for anyone but number 14, then you have no right to be parked here. I couldn't give a bleep if the whole street collapsed. Now move your van from outside my house. The woman has pled guilty to a charge of public order offense and fined 168 American dollars or pounds. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Get a life. Seriously. And think about other people for a change. I know you don't like an ambulance parked in front of your house. Maybe you don't like that. But there could be someone potentially dying down why the street. Why did you ever? What, what kind of... It amazes me, people. Narcissistic, yes. selfish person oh, no. leaves a note on an ambulance. I hope you don't ever have an, an emergency what is medical wrong condition. With you? Look at that. Why would you? That is so rude. You have got to be so self-absorbed. I know. I'm so glad they caught her, arrested her. I mean, her, I'll and leave find a note her. on a police car. Right. But never an ambulance. Yeah. What kind of notes do you normally leave? Uh, I didn't do it. I'll leave that note. Just as a blanket. Yeah. No matter what they catch you Because I don't know why you're here, but I didn't do it. I, I left a note about that, mm -hmm. officer, and I, to I told you then I did not do it. Mm -hmm. So, All right. A lot of the talk on Twitter this week, always fun conversations happening there. One big conversation. A lot of Twitter people are asking, bum, bum, dun, what's dun, going on dun. with Daniel Craig's face? Dun, 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 dun. Yes, a lot of questions over the James Bond actor's look at the 71st British Academy Film Awards in London, England. A number, number of people posting they think he looks plastic. I hate when men get plastic surgery. I know. They're saying, what's going on with Daniel Craig's like, face? I'm not a big fan of plastic. If it looks like you've had work done, then you didn't do it the right way. Well, yeah. what do men get if they don't get plastic surgery, Jesse? You lose your card. Yo, yeah, well, that's your right. Yeah, card. you lose your man card. And of, of all people, James Bond should be the last guy getting plastic surgery. Yeah, and, he should I mean, have scars we, and stuff. Yeah, he, and do we know for sure if he had plastic surgery? Or, I don't or know. Is he, well, he just, just like get he airbrushed? Of nipped I will say this, though. Botox? Let me, let me make a declaration about Daniel Craig. Oh, no. If I, and I'm representing the Broccoli family from the James Bond franchise. Okay. If I hear you moan whine or gripe about being James Bond one more time, because he does it. Every time I know, he, I hate that. he goes, makes the movie, then he goes in the press junket, and then he goes, I don't think I'll do it again. You know, I'm just sick of this. I'm sick of asking, answering questions about being James Bond. It's such tough work, you know, with the pretty women and the cars and the guns. So here's what I say. One more, just if I hear one more time, Idris Elba is our new James Bond. I would love that. Got, it? Got me, son? He would Idris be Elba is more than ready to be James Bond. I'll give it to him today. And he doesn't even... I don't want to hear you whine once. Heard that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time and attention. Yes, and it. scene. Yes. Okay? Yeah. All right, some residents of the state of Maine are very upset because something that is near and dear to their hearts, lobster has been ruined with the new lobster emoji. These people are upset because they say the lobster emoji that was just recently put out is missing two legs. Oh. The emoji will now be redesigned as a result. A lobster is part of 157 new emojis set to be released later this year. Mm -hmm. The main resident said it only had eight legs when it should have ten. Mm. Officials with the design company said it will be redesigned, apparently along with the skateboard and DNA emojis as well. You, no matter what facet of life you endeavor into, you will find somebody that gets upset about no. the one minuscule little thing oh, that no. is their purview. Yeah. It always happens. Their like, thing. Because we'll approach some topic that you and I have never discussed before, and then here comes one expert yeah. who's got an opinion like, on how I, we screwed it up. Oh, I know. I know. I, I, this, I, I've known about this my whole life. <laughs> that's probably, you know, the, the emoji makers have just discovered, oh my God, there's people upset about a lobster. Really? The cockroach of the sea. We have no other problems in the world. Let See, us fix Now there's going to be people upset lobster. that I've called it the cockroach of the sea. Uh-oh. But really, is lobster that good if you take away the butter? Oh. 
So what what are you enjoying the most? Let me tell you what I had recently. All Went right. to Jean Ferris Winery uh -huh. for dinner. They had lobster mac and cheese. Oh. Is that good? Yes. Is that good? Yeah. When I tell you, yes. they had to hold me back from breaking into song. It was so good. It has some all these blends of cheese in it with the mac and then the lobster and then... Mm. So, good. yes, I disagree with you on that. Lobster is delicious. There was no butter, probably. You just described what covered the lobster. The mac right, and was, cheese. No, no, the lobster was the lobster star of the show. Lobster is just like rice. It's a filler. <gasps> oh. Well, Shots fired. I, can I get a new co-host? <laughs> because this is the last straw. It's I not as good as steak. If I'm going to surf or turf, I'm going turf. But why not surf and turf? Also seasoned. Again, if you don't have the lemon butter yes. or whatever it is, you're not going to enjoy it. Oh, my gosh. That's it. All right. Anyway, stay with us. Coming up, the Live with Lee and Haley Olympics continue. Yes, as we told you, we're taking on our friends from Nash FM with our own version of Name That Tune. We'll be right back. Stay with us.